We love having him on. He's a former NFL offensive lineman. Probably would have done a better job even now than those dudes in Kansas City did yesterday. They were the two Super men Bowl. down now. Let's not act like everybody was there. That's what I'm saying. I know. Right. They, oh. Those were backups. Fox Sports Radio Weekend host, our man Ephraim Salam. What up, brother? Ephraim. What's happening, y'all? Now, look, I'm going to start it right <laughs> here, Ephraim. Jump right I, in, man. We're going right in because, you know, I don't want to cut any of your time. Um, I am big on intangibles. And I think Tom Brady, that's why he's the GOAT. And I want your opinion on that because I don't know if you think he's the GOAT or not. But I think it's the intangibles. Obviously, he's got physical ability as well. But And I think him going to Tampa Bay, he immediately, with his attitude, with his work ethic, with his leadership, the way he can relate to the players, all that, he made them believe they could win. And even more, you know, it's not just his numbers and some of the throws he made. That is what helped this team win that Super Bowl. Tell me where you at on the GOAT first, and then all of that intangible stuff, is that – hogwash is it just made up junk that people say or is it real and is Brady got it in spades Tom Brady is the greatest quarterback to ever play in the National Football League Um, when you talk about intangibles you're absolutely accurate whenever we're talking about the greatest players or an MVP of a league the criteria is can you take that person put him on any team and make him a viable playoff uh, contender, right? When is the last time Tampa Bay was a viable playoff contender? 13 years. Exactly. Outside of bringing in uh, a, a retired Gronkowski and bringing in Antonio Brown halfway through uh, the season, and adding a, a running back that was cut. Right, right. <laughs> right? right. It, it was pretty much the same team that went 9-7 and seven and led the league. Se- in, no, 7-9. 7-9. 7-9, excuse me. 7-9. Yeah. And, and led the league in turnovers. You add one key piece, and they win the Super Bowl. <laughs> I don't know where it, it, the it, argument is. I'll give you the the argument, argument, Ephraim. I'll give you the argument because this is typical lazy analysis to to make it. No, it's lazy. (laughs) And hear me out. That Tom Brady's the fixer of all. Damn, did you watch that damn defense yesterday? Stop Patrick Mahomes and the Kansas City Chiefs? And you're going to sit here and talk about damn Tom Brady and his 200 yards? Hell no, Ephraim. That ain't why they won. They stopped the high-flying uh, but Chiefs, you want to go hey, through Tom Brady's career? Well, no, hold Rob. on. Let me say my piece, and then you can speak. All right? Oh, my bad. He Make won two quick, Super Rob. Bowls. We, we brought him He won two guest. Super Make Bowls with one touchdown. All right? Bill Belichick's defense stopped the greatest show on turf and held them to 13 points. Tom Brady <laughs> won that Super Bowl with one touchdown. When they beat the Rams a couple years ago, the Rams had the fifth greatest offense in the history of the NFL. Tom Brady had no touchdowns in that game. Stop giving it to the quarterback and acting like he's the only reason that teams win. It ain't true. Stop it. It's lazy to sit here and talk about Tom Brady's the reason why. Okay. Um, Can I jump in now? Are you still (laughs) yelling? Please Please do, Ephraim. Please do. All right. All right. Thank you. So, you know, my whole – the whole point, the, the question is, is Tom Brady the greatest quarterback? How can you argue that he's not the greatest quarterback when he's going to have every single quarterback passing record, completion, touchdown record? Oh, by the way, he's won seven champions, seven Super Bowls, more than any other franchise, not player, franchise. He leaves New England where he's been for 20 years. He leaves the place where he's the most comfortable with the best coach, right, in, 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 ever in the NFL, uh, according to some. And he goes to a place that's riddled with discipline problems, uh, the turnovers, all of these things. 
he goes there and wins the championship against the what we think will be the greatest quarterback when it's all said and done, a young Patrick Mahomes and an Andy Reid-led uh, Chiefs, who, by the way, is, a, is, is, a, is, is one of the top coaches to ever coach in the league as well. Uh, before so he when you, won that wait a minute, wait, no, 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 Rob, soaking. no, Rob, stop, no. You had your time to just spew nonsense and yell. Relax. <laughs> it ain't nonsense. It's Relax. Called, it's, it's called it's not. nonsense. It's, it ain't it's nonsense. Not. It's not. It's not. And, and, and I heard you talking about Tom Brady is the Robert Ory of, of the NFL. Boy, you must be out your mind. You must be crazy. You done lost your mind, man. Come on now. Let, let's, let's not. I know you don't like Tom Brady. And I didn't like I Tom Brady. I have nothing the personal work, the, with Tom Brady. Oh, I don't yeah, you care do. about yeah, Tom you Brady. We, yeah, yeah, you what do. are you talking yeah, you about? Do. Right? I, I found I have myself, no, nothing personal look, as a, with him. As a former competitor, I found myself and Tom Brady and the Patriots, I held them, you know, synonymous with each other and the, their cheating ways. And when that relationship broke up, I didn't know who I hated more, the, the Patriots or Tom Brady. So I found myself this year cheering for Tom. And I've never done that. And that comes from being an opponent to a fan, right? So watching Tom Brady go into a new system, new players, new coach, take them to the Super Bowl and win the Super Bowl, to me, solidifies him as the greatest quarterback to ever throw a football. Oh, by the way, he's not done yet. So this argument will continue. This conversation any, will any, continue. Any decent quarterback with that defense last no, night would have won a Super no, Bowl. Anybody. No, they they no, held the Chiefs to no touch. That's it is true. true. I said I'll any decent quarterback. Bowl, right? That's why no, Eli me, Manning me, beat him twice. Let me, let Eli let me Manning here, beat Tom Ephraim. Brady twice. Let me, let me go oh, here, Ephraim. Um, go, please. Go, brother. Where go. I, and I, I'm with you on the go. Where I stopped, though, with Brady, I don't like when people say he's the greatest football player of all time. Because Nobody, when I picture I a football, that. no, I know you didn't, but I'm, oh, okay. I want to know if you agree with me, disagree with me. When I think of the greatest football player, I want in. I'm envisioning somebody that can do uh, many facets of the game. You know, he could, if he needed to, he could tackle, he could catch, he could sprint, he can run, he can block, he can. You know, like if you had to go through a gauntlet of drills, who would look good? Who would do it well? That's what I'm picturing, and I can't go. There not only with Tom Brady but with virtually any quarterback. Maybe there's you know. No, if, if no, Michael, you, that, so where are you at on that? That that's that's resigned for like Deion Sanders. One is in, a, right. in that uh, argument about the greatest football players. If, you know th- those type of players. Deion Sanders could do anything. He could do anything. He he could have played anything. He might have been able to play offensive line better than those two guys that that uh, <laughs> Kansas City had trotted out there like. Uh, it's just something that he brought to it, right? It's something that right. that, that he – Jim Brown, right? right. These, these are the Jerry type of Rice. people for, who are the greatest football players of all time. But in terms of best, greatest quarterback, come on now. Every great quarterback will tell you Tom Brady is the greatest quarterback, whether they like him or not. It doesn't matter. It, it, it doesn't matter. And it, it, it just – you know, to me, what well, Rob is Rob always has these bad takes and, and, and all of that. You know, I, I I wanted to bring something up. I don't want to get off the Super Bowl, but the last time I filled in for you, Chris, uh, Rob Parker told me that that the the, the, the Lamelo Ball was some trash. That's what he told me. We had <laughs> we had a whole that, segment. We had a whole segment I, of him talking about he's trash after his first that. game. Lamelo, no, no points. I, he no, I talk, no points. I talk, I talk you mean about to the, tell me he was on the court for 13 <laughs> minutes and didn't score no points? He's trash. That, I, didn't, I never will get the tape. We will the get tape. the tape. And ain't no way go I said trash. Tape. I don't even use that term. Chris, you are you've been trash. doing a show you with me for two trash. and a half yards. Do you remember two and a half years? You remember <laughs> me on, saying man. trash? Come on. We'll get garbage. the tape. We'll you get said the tape. garbage. That what, is garbage? what is garbage? garbage? What is garbage? What is garbage? Garbage is trash. <laughs> Don't try to play me with these semantics and these words, man. Come you on, put man. words in my mouth. That's all right. Uh, wait, wait, all right we appreciate look, having Ephraim, you on. Yes, great stuff, brother. Thank you. Awesome I, don't, I don't know about that, but uh, I yeah, it is great. It Rob is awesome. going at you. I don't know what's up with Rob. Like you said, he's upset, but you know. Nah, I'm going to keep it real today. So oh y'all come God. with that. 
weak, lazy analysis, and I'm going to push you that right That ain't weak, lazy, lazy analysis. That's no, understanding the, the football and the dynamics of the locker room. All right, that's our man. Yeah, from I haven't Salon. been Great covering stuff, the NFL brother. since 1987. That don't matter. How long you don't did you play? the dynamics of a team, clearly. I mean, come on. All right, we got uh, Ephraim. Great job, brother. <laughs>